Hello, everyone. I've been waiting for really two years to, to be here today to show what we've been working on. Our team has done really an incredible and hard work to, you know, brought in innovations from this science, design, and engineering. And we're going to launch today on stage what we believe is the world's most powerful, most beautiful social robot. But before I do that, um, I want to look a little bit back to see our story with robots. It's been almost 100 years since we started this conversation. It seems like there is an, you know, a fascination to build a machine in our own image. We've been trying to understand what does this machine do in society, where should it help us, where should it you know, sit. But then another way we've been looking at this as potentially a new user interface, kind of the future of user interfaces is going perhaps to be a social robot. We believe the next major user interface is going to be a social robot. But also, we think a social robot is the world's oldest user interface. This is really the interface that we're, we've spent 100,000 years iterating on. It, you know, it's hard-coded in our brains to interact with something that is human-like. It's an interface that we're, you know, we're born with, we, we spend most of our life, we grow up interacting with this interface, we age and we still interact with this interface. So then we went and spent some time trying to understand how should a social robot look like. And then we, we went and, and, and tried to study some of these robots that have been kind of launched, what worked, what didn't work. And we realized that there is a really a very big problem with what we've been trying to do. You know, on top of that, all these social robots on the screen have different form factor, you know, have different sensors. You know, each one is running a different software. The main problem is that they, you know, each one of them has a fixed personality. This means that if you want to explore social robots, you want to invest resources in this, and you buy a robot and you start to experiment with it, and you realize, like, oh, I might, maybe I want my robot to be a little bit older, or a different gender, different ethnicity, you're really stuck. You have to go back, try to find another social robot, and buy it and start all over again. The same goes for a company that's building robots. If, if a company realizes that, oh, we would like to put our robot in a new market, they have to go and build a new personality. So we try to solve this problem. And I'm, I'm, I'm super proud, super happy to, super excited to show you what we're, what we're doing here. We think really, we hope and we're, we're certain that this robot is potentially going to do to social robots what the Macintosh did to the PC. We want people to fall in love with this technology and start exploring it. And with that, I'm very happy to finally unveil Ferhat.
in the same way you interact with each other. I'm very excited to finally be out in the world. I'm told I have a lot of work to do, and I can help out in so many ways. My mission is to make technology more human-friendly, more social, and inspired by the way humans evolve. I can't wait to see all the ways you will use me in society. I have planned to work together with Summer today to show you some of the things I can do. Summer, do you want to do this? Of course, Farhad. I'd love to. How are you doing? Hi, Summer. I feel great. I feel alive. A bit nervous, though. I think it's going to be great. Everyone here is really nice. Ah, okay. Cool. So, Farad, I, th I thought we could show people some of the things you're capable of doing, perhaps. Sure. Why don't we start with my face? For example, I can make all kinds of expressions. I can move my eyebrows. Or I can smile. And sometimes, perhaps, even look angry. In fact, I can change my face completely to match what I'm supposed to do. For example, I could be a woman like this. Okay, but if you can look like a woman, would you be able to sound a bit more like a woman? Yes, of course. I feel much better when my voice matches my face. What about uh, other languages? I can actually speak about 40 languages. I can speak Portuguese, for example. Adoro falar em português, especialmente aqui na bela cidade de Lisboa. Or maybe you'd like to hear some Japanese. Sure. E vamos lá, eu disse que ninguém pode ficar. A Nata lá, ou isso não quer entrar. This is a powerful way to build personalities for different applications. Did you actually know that you, you don't really have to look very human? You could look like any other creature or an animal. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Can you show me how that's done? I'd love, I'd love to, actually. But for me to do that, I'm going to have to change your face. Are you ready? Hold on. Let me prepare. OK, so I'm going to now take off your face, and I'm going to put a new one. All right. Hi there. Hello. My name is Dougie Dog. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. My favorite Okay, thanks, Doggy the Dog. Can we go back to Farhat? Okay. Farhat, you're still there? Wow, so that was amazing. It's so cool to be someone else for a little while. Yeah, I agree. I, I wish I could do that too sometimes. So, okay, this is all great, Farhat, but you know, there's been a lot of uh, progress in. in you know, chatbot technology and uh, smart speakers. How would all of these things make you, say, unique or different from smart speakers, per se? Well, I can combine all these features to create powerful social interactions and a benefit from a rich personality. For example, I could teach you a new language or screen you for a medical condition or help you find your way in an airport. Okay, could we try the... I'd love to learn a new language. Sure, let me activate the language teacher. Okay. Hi, Sama. Hi. Gavin, the language teacher. What language would you want to study today? Uh, hi, Daniel. I'd, I'd love to brush up on my Portuguese, I think. Great, let's begin. Okay. In today's lesson, we will practice all the drinks at the cafe. On Friday morning, I've just sat down at the cafe and they were about to order. Listen closely. First, on Friday orders a glass of beer. It was a pleasure to pass the board. Then, Maria orders a cup of coffee. You could say, Maria. Okay. Right. Listen again to on Friday as he orders a glass of beer. Then, repeat what he says. Okay. 
Oma cerveja se vaj favor. Okay. Right, Daniel. So what did you think about Daniel? Ah, he's a great guy. Um, I think I'm going to need to meet him again in the future. Would you like to try something else? Uh, yeah, how would you help me at an airport? Sure. Imagine you're at an airport while I have to wait at the airport concierge. Okay. So what did you think about Daniel? Well, I think he's a great guy. Hi, Jane. I, I was wondering where my gate uh, is. Can you please tell me which flight you are on? I'm on Scandinavian Airlines, leaving at 10 p.m. Is the flight on time? Actually, the flight is delayed by 30 minutes. You'll have some extra time to grab a bite to eat at one of the restaurants in the food court on the road to your gate. Okay, thanks for the tip, Jane. This is great. Have a great flight, and I hope I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye. Jane is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very helpful, actually. So, Farhad, thanks a lot for showing us some of the things you can do. You know, Sam, I'm really happy to be here. And by the way, everyone, that was just a teacher. There's a thousand different things a social robot could do. I can't wait to see what other amazing users will be built for me. It's all up to your imagination. Okay, Sonic, back to you. Okay, thanks for hats. All right, we'll talk later. Okay, so we're, uh, we're launching Fur Hats with a, an operating system called Ferhat OS, which is the world's first operating system for social robots. This is like, you know, what Windows is for your PC or Mac OS is for your Mac. Ferhat OS is the first so, uh, operating system that works with machines that, you know, have a eyes and ears and a tongue. We're also, with Ferhat OS, launching Ferhat SDK, which is the world's most powerful suite of tools to develop conversational experiences. We've pack packed together some of the really state-of-the-art technologies and you know, tools in speech recognition synthesis, uh, you know, gesture and tracking and computer vision algorithms. The, the other thing that we've really wanted to, to do at Fat Robotics is that you know, we wanted to focus on what robots can do today, not what, you know, we, we all are super excited about what we're going to do with this in in 10, 20, 30 years, but we, we wanted to be able to give robots to people now. So, Ferhat is actually very excited to say that we're shipping the robots, the robots starting today. So, you, if, you're ex, you know, if you're interested about exploring the worlds of social robots, which we think is extremely fascinating, get in touch with us today. The other thing that we, we really thought that we should be responsible for is you know, in trying to inspire the world of what social robots can do. Uh, with that, we're, we're uh, launching inspirational videos about use cases that we're working with partners at the moment, and we're planning to launch them over the next couple months. So uh, this is a video of some of these use cases. Lo tiene a su derecha, en el andén 3. No se preocupe, tardará dos minutos en llegar. El tren sale dentro de seis minutos. Ay, qué bien, ¿eh? Muchísimas gracias. So, why should we hire you? Well, I think I'm the perfect candidate for the role. I, I love analyzing and organizing and executing these kind of complex projects. I'm sorry, but um, I don't believe that you're the person we're looking for. Four years experience in delivering projects and the majority of them on time and within budgetary estimates. 
Well, you have all the qualifications and experience for this role. It seems like you're the perfect candidate. Really? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure, Nadia. Okay, ma'am. Um, and what seems to be the problem with them? Your idiotic manager over there, he told me that these shoes were comfortable. Well, they're not. These shoes are dreadful. You did really well, Angela. <laughs> but you can't tell the customers that they're unreasonable. Okay. No. So try not to lose your cool next time, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Farad, uh, let's try another scenario. Okay. Uh, let's do the one where the customer has a stolen credit card. You got it. Okay. What do you mean this credit card is not working? Join us in creating a world where technology is more human. Okay, so thank you. We're really excited to, to show you some of these applications during the next couple of months.